Good afternoon everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is June the 13th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that a time of tribulation is coming. But for those of us who have put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, there is good news. I hope this word will bless you as you hear it today. It is titled, Liberty of the Sons of God. I'll begin by reading scripture. Acts 1, verses 28 through 32. For in him we live and move and exist. As some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. And since this is true, we shouldn't think of God as an idol designed by craftsmen from gold or silver or stone. God overlooked people's ignorance about these things in earlier times. But now... He commands everyone, everywhere, to repent of their sins and turn to Him. For He has set a day for judging the world with justice by the man He has appointed, and He proved to everyone who this is by raising Him from the dead. This scripture passage tells us that a time of judgment is coming, that the Lord will judge the world with his justice. Revelation 3, verses 10 through 12. Because you have obeyed my command to persevere, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, so that no one will take away your crown. All who are victorious will become pillars in the temple of my God, and they will never have to leave it. And I will write on them the name of my God, and they will be citizens in the city of my God, the new Jerusalem that comes down from heaven from my God, and I will also write on them my new name. This scripture passage, too, is warning us of a time of testing everyone in the world and telling us that those who have remained faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ will be victorious and that they will be citizens of the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. Romans 8 verses 28 through 30 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among brothers and sisters, and those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. This scripture reference is telling us that those who belong to the Lord are the firstborn among many of the sons of God. They have been conformed to the image of the Son as children of God, brothers and sisters of Christ. These are ones who will be justified and glorified with the Son. I'll begin reading this word. In this day a sound is going forth from the throne room of God. The rumblings in the heavenlies are those of war. 
Soon there shall be great tribulation as never before, for nation shall rise against nation, and the sound of war shall be heard throughout the land. Give attention to the voice of the Spirit. Take heed to what the Spirit is saying, for today is a day of preparation for the tribulation that is to come. Drink deeply from the wells of salvation. Receive the water of life, for it will sustain you through the hour of trial that is coming. The whole earth will experience the judgment of God, and to those who are disobedient, God's wrath. Turn your gaze upward and call upon the name of the Lord while he may yet be found. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the day of the coming of the Lord, and the day of your release is at hand. You shall be released to dance before your king. You shall be released from the chains that have bound you, the ropes that have tied you down and prevented you from going forth in the power of my spirit shall be severed and you shall be cut loose, says the Lord. Keep your eyes on the Savior, for in this hour you shall see the salvation of your God. Bring every burden and sorrow to your heavenly Father. He knows your pain and suffering, and he is able and willing to bring healing. Bring every fear to him, and he will release you from it, and give you faith that all things are in his hands, and there is nothing that he is unable to do. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Times of refreshing are here for those who seek the Lord. Winds of change are blowing, and the fresh breeze is moving my people along in the will of God, bringing them out of bondage and into the liberty of the sons of God. This is the will of the Father, that the sons of God be revealed in this day, that they are raised up to do great exploits for their king. Hear the sound of the Lord's coming. The music is playing and the dance goes on as the redeemed of the earth stream into Zion, the chosen place the place of liberty and rejoicing in her God. And the dance will continue till the full number of the sons of God is in. The doors are open and they are filing in, a procession dancing and singing and praising God, entering the kingdom of God, taking their place in the great household of God. Rejoice, O people, for your king is coming, and with him is your reward, for he will give to each one according to what he has done. His justice shall be executed to the nations, and he will rule with an iron scepter in all authority, for all authority in heaven and earth has been given to him. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that great tribulation is coming, a time of testing to test everyone who lives upon the earth, and that it is a time of preparation for these things. The Lord is encouraging anyone who has been disobedient to repent of their sins and turn to God while there is still time. The Lord's heart is to set the captives free and to give abundant life to those who belong to him. He wants us to know that he is bringing his people into the liberty of the sons of God. 
that while the world is being judged, the Lord is justifying those who are his, establishing us as pillars in the temple of God. The Lord has his hand of protection upon those who love him, and they will be spared from the wrath of God and from the tribulation that is coming. May we all have our eyes on Jesus, the one who has saved us and called us for his purposes. I hope this word today will encourage you that the future of those who trust in the Lord is great. The tribulation will not touch us, and instead, we will be glorified as the sons of God. May the Lord bless and encourage his people in this day. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you again in the next video. Love and blessings to all of you, in Jesus' name. Bye for now.